Hello everyone and welcome back to I Am A Reviews. Today we are discussing Amsterdam. Directed by David O. Russell and starring Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, John David Washington and Robert De Niro. Three friends from the First World War try to clear their names from a murder that they didn't commit, all whilst unravelling a secret plot. But before we go any further, could you please be a dear... Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does make all the difference to this channel, and we thank you if you do. So let's get into what I liked about Amsterdam. There's some really enjoyable performances here, especially from Christian Bale. He's such a good character actor, and his character in this movie is by far the most compelling. He does feel head and shoulders above the rest of the cast here, and he is just magnetic to the eye. I thought the cinematography was wonderful, as was the set design. It's incredibly floaty and smooth, with a very rich colour scheme to it. But sadly, that's where the pros end. Yikes. And here's where the cons come in. I feel like I can sum up this movie in two words. Bloated waffle. So much is being said, and yet absolutely nothing is actually being said. Everything felt so aimless and unattached to each other. It spends 20 minutes each time with the new situation it has progressed to before moving on again without any relevancy to what you just saw. Looking back on this movie... It's more than 10 minutes that could be cut. We're talking about close to an hour of this movie could be cut. I feel like I just sat there and watched big names spouting hot air for nearly three hours and it was an exhausting slog to get through. I don't feel like this movie actually knows what its own plot is or what it wants its plot to be. So it just sort of gives up on its plot and just prattles on about nothing and makes jokes that aren't funny and it literally will waste your time and as much as I praise the performances this might be harsh but I really wasn't blown away by John David Washington he just offers the same performance as he always does and it's now getting to a point where I'm starting to think that John David Washington just actually doesn't have any range and this is all you're ever going to get from him. And as this film does finally remember it had a plot, and it tries to tell you this plot, and it reveals itself to you, we had already predicted it, long before it ever revealed itself. Because it's really not that hard of a mystery to unravel. It's all right there in front of you, and it just makes sense that that would be what it is. And lo and behold, that is what it is. And on that note, as it does finally reveal itself, it decides it's suddenly going to spoon-feed you, in case you're stupid and haven't followed... A to B to C. Whereas actually it's the film that's stupid because it takes three hours to go from A to B to C. There's nothing clever about this. There's nothing really to be said about it either. This is terrible storytelling. I'm going to give Amsterdam a three out of ten. I thought this was incredibly hard to get through and I actually found the experience to be exhausting. I got home and I went straight to bed. It just took whatever energy I had left was just sapped out of me from the boringness of this movie. It's a pretty film, and Bale is doing a good job, but absolutely nothing of any merit, value, or interest actually happens in this movie. It felt utterly nonsensical, and it felt like it had absolutely nothing to say whatsoever. Thank you for watching this review. Please be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and please do hit the comment section as well. Have you seen Amsterdam? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you on the next review.